This is where I was abducted from. Held captive for 11 years, Michelle Knight returns to where it began. In an hour-long program in America, she said she'd been given directions from her soon-to-be captor. She knew Ariel Castro's daughter, so had felt safe, but en route he told her he had to stop off at home. He tells me, well, just come in for a little while. The puppies are upstairs. You could take one home to your son. So no one ever could see you going in the front door? No. But I did poke my head out and I saw a bunch of people that lived in a previous house next to him. Okay. And I waved hi to them. Did they wave back? Mm-hmm. Wow. Michelle was the first of Castro's captives, held along with Amanda Berry and Gina De Jesus. He takes me to the basement and he ties me up to a pole with chains wrapped around it. The chains were so big and he wraps it around my neck. He sits me down on the floor and he says, this is where you're going to stay until I can trust you. Only once did Michelle try to escape. And he sits there and says, why did you take the chain off? Now you're going to be punished. And that's when he started hurting me. When Castro admitted multiple charges of rape and kidnap, Michelle was his only victim to face him in court. She says she could only survive captivity by focusing on getting home to her son. I want my son to know me as a victor, not a victim. And I wanted him to know that I survived loving him. His love got me through. Hers is a story of survival, and that's how Michelle says she wants it to be remembered. Charlotte Grant, 5 News.